Hi, welcome to Blockholic. Hope we are on the right track and you are getting what I am trying to say about the blockchain. Right? So if you have any questions at any point of time, please comment below. I would be happy to respond to each and every comment. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we are going to see what, why private blockchain. So the question is, we have a public blockchain and we have a private blockchain. Why two blockchains? Okay, so here we, I'm going to talk about the difference between private blockchain and public blockchain. In public blockchain, what generally happens is like the data, the transactions, whatever you are doing on the network can be able to viewed by everybody. That means whoever have an access to the internet connection and they can log into the website and they can be able to see the transactions, whatever is happening in the public blockchain network. In private blockchain network, let's say I'm an enterprise organization or I'm a bank. Okay, even though I'm a public bank, I don't want my transactions to be viewable by everybody. Right? At the same time, I don't want to wait maybe 10 seconds, 10 minutes or 12 to 13 seconds for mining a block. Because if you're fast, that's how it works. If you have to be fast in order to win the race. So in a private blockchain network, so what happens is that the transaction time can be reduced up to one minute. You can be able to mine the blocks in one minute or you can be able to fix your own time. Let's say I want to put the blockchain maybe in five seconds. You can be able to do it. At the same time, in the private blockchain, the transactions, whatever is happening, right, it won't be accessible by everybody who ever have an internet access. These transactions can be accessible by only to the people who have an access to the private blockchain network itself. So whoever having an internet connection, they cannot see the transactions, whatever is happening in the blockchain network. But whoever have an access to that particular private blockchain network, they can be able to view it. That means you are not allowing any persons, any malicious user to check what is happening in the network. So compared to public blockchain network, private blockchain network is also secured and it can be scalable and it is a trust and at the end of the day in a private blockchain network, you know who is doing the transactions. So if something goes wrong, you can be able to go and ask him, hey, there is something wrong, what, what's happening? But in a private public blockchain network, if something goes wrong, you cannot ask anybody because it's public and nobody, no one owns the network. So that's the reason people opt for a private blockchain network. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below.